hi everyone so i come back with another tutorial this is question uh two from tutorial sheet three and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please kindly do so so that even next time when i post the next tutorial videos you'll be able to watch them so the question says determine the nature of the roots of each of the following quadratic functions uh, do not solve the equation so here we've been told not to solve the equation so what we just need is to determine uh, the kind of roots that each of these quadratic functions has so basically we have three types of roots they are real roots we have imaginary or complex roots we have um, and uh, and then we have what is called no real roots so if it has no real roots it means that it does not meet the x-axis i've explained this in my in my tuition group the people that i'm taking in tuitions i've explained it clearly and they've understood and then except those maybe if yeah except maybe those that did not do mathematics at high school maybe they didn't understand it clearly but i'm yet to explain it in details so please make sure that uh, you don't uh, be missing out the videos that I post here. There are lecture slides here on YouTube and everything. So let me quickly enter into serious business. Okay. So here, every time you have been taught to find uh, or to determine the kind of roots that the quadratic equation has, uh, what should come in your mind is the discriminant. So the discriminant of a quadratic equation is given by b squared minus for the C so if G is greater than zero then it has uh, two real roots and then if D is less than zero it has no real roots or it has imaginary real roots and then i mean so it has imaginary real it has imaginary uh, roots not real roots so when something when a number is imaginary then it is not real so the opposite of real is imaginary and the opposite of imaginary is real so if if d is less than zero meaning it has imaginary real root. it it has imaginary roots sorry yeah and then if d is equal to zero then it has equal roots if d is equal to zero then it has two it has equal roots meaning the curve touches the x-axis so let us now try to see what kind of roots that these uh, equations have so our a there is the coefficient of x squared b is the coefficient of x then c is the constant so we begin to place them there so d is equal to b squared there my b is negative one and then squared minus four a c my a there is two then c is five so our d for the first question there give us one minus four times two gives us eight eight times five you get uh, eight times five you get forty so meaning d will be a negative uh, 39 so as we can see our d is less than zero so our conclusion will now be will now be that it has no real roots or it has imaginary roots no real roots or it has imaginary real roots or complex real, co co i mean it has imaginary roots or complex roots so we quickly move on to b so b again you get your a b and c you place them there so you have d b equal to uh, b squared so my b squared will be four squared minus four my a is one my c is negative 2 so your d is going to be equal to 16 minus uh, so negative 4 times negative 2 get 
uh, positive 8 so d is equal to 24 so for, so if d is equal to 24 it simply tells us to say d is positive and then when d is positive it means that it's greater than zero and then when d is greater than zero it means that it has uh, what are called real roots or two distinct real roots real roots so don't be confused by this word called roots roots are just solutions that you find after solving a, qu a quadratic equation and then c c we have our d being equal to so my b squared there will be negative 4 squared minus 4 my a is negative 1 and then negative 4a and then my c is uh, 4 so when you solve this you can tell you can uh, this is uh, you can you, you are supposed to get 16 and then this is again positive 16 so d is also positive here she is positive 32 so d is greater than 0 so meaning this will give you uh, this is simply telling us to say yeah so this is simply telling us to say uh, this has real roots as well or it has two distinct real roots so let's check what d has so d is saying 4 minus 3x squared is equal to 0 so our so we can rewrite this we can rewrite this let me just write it the way it's supposed to be in a quadratic equation form so this is just the same as 3x squared negative 3x squared plus 0x then plus 4 being equal to 0 so our d is simply found by our b squared by our b squared will be 0 squared minus 4 then our a so our a will be equal to uh, negative 3 negative 3 and then this is our c will be 4 so d will now be equal to negative 4 times 3 will give us uh, 12 and then uh, 12 times uh, 12 times 4 will give us 48 so d is equal to 48 so if d is equal to 48 this tells us to say it also has uh, two real roots this also has a real root yeah it also has real roots but just by looking at this equation you can tell you can agree with me that this has two equal real roots so it has two equal real roots how or why have i said that when you take this um put to the other side of the equal sign you're going to have three x squared being equal to four and then your x squared will be equal to four over three meaning your x will just be equal to plus or minus the root of 4 over 3 so despite our discriminant giving us uh, d which is uh, greater than 0 we also have to know to also have to know i mind to say uh, 
despite telling us that these are real roots that this uh, quadratic equation has, we also have to know to say it has two equal real roots. Yeah. So in other words, it, it, it has two equal real roots. Yeah, that's the solution for D. Great. So thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly do so, so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.